Panorama TV presents Digital Photography One-on-One, -on -One, where we answer your questions. Here's your host, Mark Wallace. Hey everybody, welcome to the show. I'm Mark Wallace. Well, in this episode, we want to talk about focusing issues. And to get started, let's take a look at our question from Lyndon Johnson. Lyndon asked, what is the best way to fix focus-related issues? Well, Lyndon, that's a great question. And one of the easiest ways to fix our focus-related issues is to use your camera's autofocus points. Autofocus points are those little things that we see when we look through our viewfinder, those little squares, and they tell the camera exactly where to focus. Now, for us to understand this, it's a lot easier to show you than to tell you about it. So we're gonna go to the park and walk through everything you need to know about autofocus points. Well, here we are in the park and Sam's here to help me demonstrate how your autofocus points work. Now, in the situation that we're about to demonstrate, we have a really tricky autofocus situation. In fact, Sam, why don't you go back here and we'll put you right next to this tree here. Now, in a situation like this, if we let our camera just sort of focus, it's gonna have a hard time knowing if it should focus on the tree or on Sam or maybe even some of the trees behind her. In fact, when I take my camera and I point it this way, you can see that as I move around, I have this selection point of either the background, Sam, or the foreground. Now what I want to do though is I want to be able to control exactly what my camera is focusing on. Now I can do that by using the autofocus points in my camera. Now once again when I look through my viewfinder I see this little matrix of squares and it looks different for different types of cameras. This is what it looks like through a 5D Mark II and you can see that I can uh, choose which one of those autofocus points is active. And based on the one that's active, that's where the camera will actually focus. So now that you've seen that, let me show you three different shots. The first shot I'm going to show you is when the autofocus point is all the way to the right, it will focus on this tree, which is not what we want. I'll shift the autofocus point right on Sam and take a shot and you'll see it focuses right on Sam. And then I'll do another shot where I shift the autofocus point and you'll see that the background is in focus. Now doing that, I can selectively focus exactly where I want my picture to be the sharpest. Now that we know that, let's talk about the ways that we choose our autofocus points. And to do that, I'm gonna show you the different setups on different cameras. All right, let's start with talking about Canon cameras and how their autofocus points work. We're gonna start with a 5D Mark II. The cool thing is almost every single Canon has a little button right here. And what that allows you to do is when you push that, then you are able to select the autofocus point. Now there are two different modes on most Canon cameras. The first mode is uh, where all of the autofocus points light up simultaneously, and that is telling us that the camera is gonna choose the autofocus point that it thinks is the correct one, which is usually not the right one. So what we wanna do is we wanna choose one autofocus point that's specific, and so all you have to do is either use the finger or thumb and when you roll that, you'll see that each individual point starts to light up and you can just keep rolling and it rolls all the way around from the left to the right and all the way back to the starting point. And that's all there is to using the autofocus point selection on a Canon 5D Mark II. Next up, let's look at a Canon 7D because it has a little bit different of an autofocus system. Now the Canon 7D has a brand new autofocus system and it has some new uh, ways of selecting your autofocus points. So let's take a look. All you have to do is again push the autofo autofocus point selection button and when you do that on the back of the camera you actually have five different ways to uh, choose your autofocus points. And you can cycle through those by pushing the uh, function button right at the top of the camera. And by pushing that, we can go through the uh, spot autofocus point selection, the single point autofocus selection, autofocus point expansion, zone autofocus, and 19 point autofocus. Now really quickly, let me explain to you some of the uh, most common modes on this. So the very first one that's really common is the single point autofocus select and when you do that you're selecting one single autofocus point and so that really lets you say this is exactly where I want to focus. Well you can also choose the autofocus point expansion option and what that allows you to do is choose a single autofocus point but if the subject moves off that autofocus point just a little bit well the autofocus system is going to expand to make sure you get the shot that you need. Now another one that's really common is the zone autofocus and this is really really terrific because you can choose the uh, 
the right or the middle or the left or the top or the bottom or the center zone. So that way you're not being super specific. You're just saying this is something on the right side of my screen or on the left side of my screen or in the middle. And so it allows you to have sort of uh, auto modes, but a little bit more specific than just choose from anywhere, which is really nice. And the last one is the 19 point autofocus. And that's the one that says, just choose any of these, uh, the one that you think is the best. And that's by default, the one that's normally used by the 7D, but you've got lots of options on this guy. So your autofocus should be really spot on. So let's take a look now, we've seen the Canons. Let's take a look at a couple of different Nikons and I'll show you how they have their autofocus point selection systems all set up. On Nikon cameras, it works almost exactly the same. What you have is you have a little uh, dial pad right here that you can shift and choose the autofocus point that you want to use. Now, before you do that, though, you need to go into the menu, and there's a menu item that says AF area mode. And there are normally three different modes. Sometimes there's four. There's single point autofocus, and that allows you to choose a single autofocus point. There's dynamic area autofocus, and that allows you to choose a point. But again, if your subject moves off that point, well, the camera's gonna be smart enough to know to shift a little bit to make sure that you're still in focus. And then you have auto area autofocus, and that's where you let the camera just decide what it thinks is best for you to focus on. That's the one I recommend that you don't use. I recommend that you use single point or dynamic area autofocus. And then there's on some cameras 3D tracking, and that's really great if you're shooting stuff that's moving quite a bit. And so 3D tracking allows you to, as you're moving along and something goes out of your autofocus point to a different one, the camera is smart enough to follow that. It's great for sports. So let's take a look. This is the uh, D3100. So let's take a look at a different Nikon really fast, and I'll show you a different way to select your autofocus points on that camera. Well, this is the Nikon D7000, and on the D7000, there's a really cool feature that I like for changing the autofocus point selection mode. Instead of going into the menu, on this camera, you can actually, there's a little button right here, you can just push and hold, and when you do that, then you can roll the front dial and you can choose between different autofocus point selection modes from single point to auto to 3D, all different types of modes there. And so it's really, really quick and fast to change how you're selecting your autofocus points. And then when you do want to uh, select your autofocus point, again, you just use the pad on the back to move around and choose the appropriate autofocus point, And you're going to get a picture that's in focus every single time. Well, that was a lot of fun at the park, but there are a couple more things you really need to understand to make sure you know how to use your autofocus points the best possible way. Now, for simplicity's sake, what I did was I kept the autofocus points right in the center of the scene and then just chose the autofocus point to help illustrate which ones to choose for a certain kind of focusing. But ideally what we would do is not only would we choose the autofocus point that was the closest to our subject, but we might even move the camera to make sure it falls exactly where we're focusing. For example, in the shot where I put the autofocus point on Sam, well that autofocus point in our sample was sort of on her collar. What I normally would have done is choose the autofocus point, the same one, but then I would move my camera up so that autofocus point is right on her eyes. Then I would press the shutter release button halfway down that would tell the camera to focus and then I would hold that halfway down so the focus would stay and then I would recompose the image and take the shot and that's normally how you use your autofocus points so choose something close uh, make your move your camera so it's right exactly where you want to focus push halfway and lock recompose and then shoot and you'll get great images. Now, one other thing that's really important to understand is how those autofocus points actually focus. What they're doing is they're looking for edges and contrast. So for example, if I had something like this, this is just a white card, but if I had this in a scene and I wanted to focus on this, if I put the autofocus point right here in the middle of this card, well, there's no contrast, there's no edges. And so the camera would have a really hard time focusing. And you're gonna see this when you have like uh, white walls or solid colored walls or solid co color clothes or anything that has no contrast. The camera, even though you choose your autofocus point, could have a lot of difficulty focusing. So instead, choose an autofocus point that's close to where you want it to be. Put it on the edge. So make sure it's on the edge of uh, your subject, and then your camera's going to lock into focus. Once you have that, then you can hold the focus, recompose, and take the picture. And that will make sure that you get a crisp, clean focus that's really happening fast.
Well, there you have it, autofocus points. It's a really simple technique, but using that, you can really step up your game as far as your photography goes and get really crystal clear images. Well, thank you so much for watching this week. Remember, if you have a question for me about photography or photography-related gear, you can send that to me at askmark at adorama.com. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you again next week. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode, and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.